Carnarvon is a royal town, community, and port in Gwynedd, Wales, with a population of 9,615. It lies along the A487 road, on the eastern shore of the Menai Strait, opposite the Isle of Anglesey. The city of Bangor is 8.6 miles to the northeast, while Snowdonia fringes Carnarvon to the east and southeast. Carnarvon and Carnarvon are anglicised speakings that were superseded in 1926 and 1974, respectively. Abundant natural resources in and around the Menai Straits enabled human habitation in the area during prehistory. The Ordovices, a Celtic tribe, lived in the region during classical antiquity. The Roman Fort Sigontium was established around AD 80 to subjugate the Ordovices during the Roman conquest of Britain. The Romans occupied the region until their departure in the 5th century, after which Carnarvon became part of the Kingdom of Gwynedd. In the late 11th century, William the Conqueror ordered the construction of a mot at Carnarvon as part of an attempt at conquering the region. He was unsuccessful, and Wales remained independent until around 1283. In the 13th century, Llewellyn ap Gruffudd, ruler of Gwynedd, refused to pay homage to Edward I, prompting the English conquest of Gwynedd. This was followed by the construction of Carnarvon Castle, one of the largest and most imposing fortifications built by the English in Wales. In 1284, the English-style county of Carnarvonshire was established by the Statute of Rhythlin. The same year, Carnarvon was made a borough, a county and market town, and the seat of English government in North Wales. The ascent of the Tudor dynasty to the throne of England eased hostilities between the English and resulted in Carnarvon Castle falling into a state of disrepair. The city has flourished, leading to its status as a major tourist centre and seat of Gwynedd Council, with a thriving harbour and marina. Carnarvon has expanded beyond its medieval walls and experienced heavy suburbanisation. Its population includes the largest percentage of Welsh-speaking citizens anywhere in Wales. The status of royal borough was granted by Queen Elizabeth II in 1963 and amended to royal town in 1974. The castle and town walls are part of a World Heritage Site described as the castles and town walls of King Edward in Gwynedd. History The present city of Carnarvon grew up around and owes its name to its Norman and Edwardian fortifications. The earlier British and Roman settlement at Sigontium was named for the nearby River Scyont. After the Roman withdrawal from Britain around AD 410, the settlement continued to be known as Cairsegint and as Caircusteriant. Of the history of the Britons, cited by Bishop Usher in Newman's Life of St. German both of which names appear among the 28 cities of Britain in the history of the Britons, traditionally ascribed to Nennius. The work states that the inscribed tomb of Constantius the Emperor was still present in the 9th century. The medieval romance about Maximus and Elin, Maxon's dream, calls her home Kaya Abbasane and other pre-conquest poets such as Howell Ab or Wayne Gwynedd also use the name Kaya Gistenen. The Norman Mott was erected apart from the existing settlement and came to be known as Wygaia Wyan Arvon, the fortress in Arvon. A 1221 charter by Lee Wellen, the Great to the Canons of Penmon Priory on Anglesey mentions Cara and Erfon, the Brute mentions both Cara and Arvon and Cara and In 1283, King Edward I completed his conquest of Wales which he secured by a chain of castles and walled towns. The construction of a new stone Carnarvon castle seems to have started as soon as the campaign had finished. Edward's architect James of St. George may well have modelled the castle on the walls of Constantinople, possibly being aware of the town's legendary associations. Edward's fourth son, Edward of Carnarvon, later King Edward II, was born at the castle in April 1284 and made Prince of Wales in 1301. A story recorded in the 16th century suggests that the new prince was offered to the native Welsh on the premise that he was born in Wales and could speak never a word of English. However there is no contemporary evidence to support this. 
Carnarvon was constituted a borough in 1284 by Charter of Edward I. The Charter, which was confirmed on a number of occasions, appointed the mayor of the borough constable of the castle ex officio. The former municipal borough was designated a royal borough in 1963. The borough was abolished by the Local Government Act 1972 in 1974, and the status of royal town was granted to the community which succeeded it. Carnarvon was the county town of the historic county of Carnarvonshire. In 1911, David Lloyd George, then Member of Parliament for Carnarvon Boroughs, which included various towns from Lynn to Conwy, agreed to the British royal family's idea of holding the investiture of the Prince of Wales at Carnarvon Castle. The ceremony took place on 13 July, with the royal family paying a rare visit to Wales, and the future King Edward VIII was duly invested. In 1955 Carnarvon was in the running for the title of Capital of Wales on historical grounds but the town's campaign was heavily defeated in a ballot of Welsh local authorities, with 11 votes compared to Cardiff's 136. Cardiff therefore became the Welsh capital. On 1 July 1969 the investiture ceremony for Charles Prince of Wales was again held at Carnarvon Castle. The ceremony itself went ahead without incident despite terrorist threats and protests, which culminated in the death of two members of Mudiod Amdiffine Cymru, Alwyn Jones and George Taylor who were killed when their bomb intended for the railway line at Abergelly in order to stop the British royal train exploded prematurely. The bomb campaign was organised by the leader of Mudiodam Diffine Cymru, John Jenkins. He was later arrested after a tip-off and was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. The history of Carnarvon is an example where the rise and fall of different civilizations can be seen from one hilltop. A discussed in John Michael Greer's book The Long Descent, he writes of Carnarvon, spread out below us in an unexpected glory of sunlight was the whole recorded history of that little corner of the world. The ground beneath us still rippled with earthworks from the Celtic hill fort that guarded the Menai Strait more than two and a half millennia ago. The Roman fort that replaced it was now the dim brown mark of an old archaeological site on low hills off to the left. Edward I's great grey castle rose up in the middle foreground, and the high contrails of RAF jets on a training exercise out over the Irish Sea showed that the town's current overlords still maintained the old watch. Houses and shops from more than half a dozen centuries spread eastward as they rose through the waters of time. From the cramped medieval buildings of the old castle town straight ahead to the gaudy sign and sprawling parking lot of the supermarket back behind us geography. Carnarvon is situated on the southern bank of the Menai Strait facing the Isle of Anglesey. It is situated 8.6 miles southwest of Bangor, 19.4 miles north of Porth Maddog and approximately 8.0 miles west of Clanberris and Snowdonia National Park. The mouth of the River Syont is in the town, creating a natural harbour where it flows into the Menai Strait. Carnarvon Castle stands at the mouth of the river. The A487 passes directly through Carnarvon, with Bangor to the north and Porth Maddog to the south. Clan Berris at the foot of Snowdon can be reached via the A4086, which heads east out of the town to Capel Curug. Heading north out of the town is the Lonlas Menai cycle path to nearby Wyfell and Helly. Heading south out of the town is the Lon Iron Cycle Path, which leads to Brinesir, near Crickieth. The route provides views into the Snowdonia Mountains, down along the Lynn Peninsula and across to the Isle of Anglesey. The restoration of the Welsh Highland Railway or Rail for Derry, a narrow-gauge heritage railway, was completed in 2011 and runs from Carnarvon to Porth Maddog where it connects with the First Iniog Railway. Economy Carnarvon's historical prominence and landmarks have made it a major tourist centre. As a result, many of the local businesses cater for the tourist trade. Carnarvon is home to numerous guest houses, inns and pubs, hotels, restaurants and shops. 
The majority of shops in the town are located either in the center of town around Pool Street and Castle Square, or on Dock Victoria. A number of shops are also located within the town walls. The majority of the retail and residential section of Dock Victoria was opened in 2008. The retail and residential section of Dock Victoria is built directly beside a blue flag beach marina. It contains numerous homes, bars and bistros, cafes and restaurants, an award-winning arts center, a maritime museum and a range of shops and stores. Pool Street and Castle Square contain a number of large, national retail shops and smaller independent stores. Pool Street is a pedestrianized street and, as such, serves as the town's main shopping street. Castle Square, commonly referred to as the MAEs by both Welsh and English speakers, is the market square of the town. A market is held every Saturday throughout the year and also on Mondays in the summer. The square was revamped at a cost of £2.4 million in 2009. However, since its revamp the square has caused controversy due to traffic and parking difficulties. During the revamp, it was decided to remove barriers between traffic and pedestrians creating shared space to try and force road users to be more considerate of pedestrians and other vehicles. This is the first use of this kind of arrangement in Wales, but it has been described by Councillor Bob Anderson as being too ambiguous for road users. Another controversy caused by the revamp of the maze was that a historic feature of the town was taken down, namely a very old oak tree, situated outside the HSBC bank. When the maze was reopened in July 2009 by the local politician and Heritage Minister of Wales, Alan Frey Jones Am, he said, The use of beautiful local slate is very prominent in the new maze. There are many old public houses serving the town, including the Four Isles, the Anglesey Arms Hotel, the Castle Hotel, the Crown, Morgan Lloyd, Pendich and the TWT Hill Vaults. The oldest public house in Carnarvon is the Black Boy Inn, which remained in the same family for over 40 years until sold in 2003 to a local independent family business. The pub has stood inside Carnarvon's town walls since the 16th century, and many ghosts have been sighted within the building. In and around the town walls are numerous restaurants, public houses and inns, and guest houses and hostels. Local Government Gwynedd Council's head offices are situated in the town. The local court serves the town and the rest of North West Wales, and in 2009 moved to a multi-million pound court complex on Clanberris Road. The Carnarvon UK Parliament constituency was a former electoral area centred on Carnarvon. Carnarvon is now part of the Arvon constituency for both the UK Parliament and the National Assembly for Wales. The town is twinned with land anew in Brittany. Demography The population of Carnarvon Community Parish in 2001 was 9,611. Carnarvon residents are known colloquially as Cofis. The word Kofi Kvi, is also used locally in Carnarvon to describe the local Welsh dialect, notable for a number of words not in use elsewhere. Within Wales, Gwynedd has the highest proportion of speakers of the Welsh language. The greatest concentration of Welsh speakers in Gwynedd is found in and around Carnarvon. According to the 2001 census, 86.1% of the population could speak Welsh. The largest majority of Welsh speakers was found in the 10 to 14 age group, where 97.7% could speak it fluently. The town is nowadays a rallying point for the Welsh nationalist cause. Landmarks Carnarvon Castle The present castle building was constructed between 1283 and 1330 by order of King Edward I. The banded stonework and polygonal towers are thought to have been in imitation of the walls of Constantinople. The impressive curtain wall with nine towers and two gatehouses survived largely intact. Carnarvon Castle is now under the care of CADW and is open to the public. The castle includes the Regimental Museum of the Royal Welch Fusiliers, Carnarvon Town Walls The Medieval Town Walls 
including eight towers and two twin-towered gateways form a complete circuit of 730 meters around the old town and were built between 1283 and 1285. The walls are in the care of CADW but only a small section is accessible to the public. The town walls and castle at Carnarvon were declared part of a World Heritage Site in 1986, according to UNESCO. The castle and walls together with other royal castles in Gwynedd are the finest examples of late 13th century and early 14th century military architecture in Europe. Church of St. Peblig dedicated to St. Peblig, the son of St. Elin and Maxon Wledig. The church is built on an important early Christian site, itself built on a Roman Mithraeum or Temple of Mithras, close to the Sagontium Roman fort. A Roman altar was found in one of the walls during 19th century restoration work. The present church dates mainly from the 14th century and is a Grade I listed building. Statue of David Lloyd George The statue in Castle Square was sculpted by W. Goskin John and was erected in 1921 when Lloyd George was Prime Minister. David Lloyd George was the Member of Parliament for the area from 1890 to 1945. The Old Market Hall The Old Market Hall in Hole in the Wall Street and Crown Street was built in 1832 but the interior and roof were rebuilt later in that century. It is a Grade II listed building. Others the old court buildings, replaced in 2009 by a new complex designed by Hock on the former Sagontium School site in Clanberris Road, are situated inside the castle walls, next door to the Anglesey Arms Hotel and to the Gwynedd County Council buildings in Pendiach. They are grand buildings, especially the exterior of the former magistrate's court, which features a Gothic architecture style of decoration. The old buildings adjoin what used to be Carnarvon Jail, which has been closed since about the early 20th century and has now been converted into further council offices. There is a small hospital in the town, a Spartiary. The nearest large regional hospital is a Sparty Gwyneth in Bangor. Previously, Carnarvon had been chosen as the location of a new prison. HMP Carnarvon would have held up to 800 adult males when constructed, and would have taken prisoners from all over the North Wales area. However, in September 2009 the UK government withdrew plans to construct the prison. Transport Carnarvon was at one time an important port, exporting slate from the Dufferin Nantal quarries. Carnarvon Railway Station served the town from 1852 to 1970 and was one of the last passenger services to be closed under the Beeching Axe. It is now the site of a Morrison's supermarket. The site served as the terminus of the Bangor and Carnarvon Railway, and an end on junction with the Carnarvonshire Railway and the Carnarvon and Clanberris Railway. All three companies were operated by and absorbed into the London and Northwestern Railway by 1871. The route of the line southwards passed through a tunnel under Central Carnarvon that was converted in 1995 for road traffic. The new Carnarvon Railway Station in St. Helens Road is the northern terminus of the narrow-gauge Ryle Ford Arif Welsh Highland Railway. Bus services in the town are provided by Arriva Buses Wales, GHA Coaches, Express Motors and Padan Bus. Carnarvon Airport is 4.5 miles to the southwest and offers pleasure flights and an aviation museum. Education There are four primary schools in Carnarvon, as Year Hendra being the largest. The others are Ascol Wygathli, Ascol Santis Helen and Ascol My Sinclair. The single secondary school serving Carnarvon and the surrounding areas, Ascol Sia Huoan, currently has between 900 and 1,000 pupils from ages 11 to 18. Ascol Pendalar, a school for children with special needs, serves all of Avon. Colleg Menai is a further education college for adult learners. Notable people. See category. People from Carnarvon Sport. Carnarvon Town FC is a football team that plays at the Oval in Division 1 of the Welsh Alliance League. Carnarvon Wanderers play in Division 2 of the Welsh Alliance. 
There is a rugby union club, CLWB Rugby Carnarvon, which plays in Division 1 north of the Swalek League. The club's home ground is Wymorfa. Culture. Carnarvon hosted the National Ashtafford in 1862, 1894, 1906, 1921, 1935, 1959 and 1979. Unofficial National Ashtafford events were also held there in 1877 and 1880. Carnarvon also hosted the 30th annual Celtic Media Festival in March 2009. Cultural destinations include Gallery, Box and Oriel Pendits. Gallery is a creative enterprise centre that houses a gallery, a concert hall, cinema, a number of companies, and a range of other creative and cultural spaces. Box is a young artists cooperative and an art centre that holds exhibitions and a range of cultural and creative events. Oriel Pendits is a ground floor exhibition space adjoining the Tourist Information Centre opposite Carnarvon Castle. The gallery has a varied and changing programme of exhibitions throughout the year.